Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technologue. As you can see, we are back to the super casual setup. Now today, I've got a very interesting video for you guys. You guys know this smartphone, the Redmi Note 10 Pro. It launched almost one year ago and still stands as one of the best budget phones out there. Xiaomi literally killed the market with this smartphone because of the price to performance ratio. This smartphone has been selling like hotcakes ever since it came out. And yeah, I absolutely love the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Now there's one more thing that I love to do and that is installing custom ROMs on my smartphones. I've been doing it for a lot of time. You guys have seen this on the channel itself that I love custom ROMs. And today over here, I've installed a Pixel Experience based on Android 12 on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So yeah, Pixel Experience is running absolutely fine on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And in fact, the latest version that comes with Android 12 and all the new features is really, really amazing. So today in this video, we'll talk about all the amazing features of Pixel Experience on Redmi Note 10 Pro. And then also tell you how to install this ROM on your Redmi Note 10 Pro. So sit back, relax and have a cup of chai. Here we go. This is my Redmi Note 10 Pro running on the latest version of Pixel Experience ROM. Now, first up, as always, let me quickly go into settings and show you the Android version. So about phone, Android version, and as you can see, it is Android 12. So you are getting the latest version of Android 12 and you do get the Easter egg as well. Now, if you go back over here and you can see the security update, it is February 5, 2022. That is an excellent thing that is running the latest security update and a big fat thumbs up for that. Also, if you're enjoying this video, then a subscribe to this channel would be, you know, a big fat thumbs up from my side. Now, if you talk about device specific settings, we can go to settings and display over here. And if we scroll down to maximum refresh rate, you can see that you get a couple of options, 120 Hertz or 60 Hertz. Basically, 120 Hertz refresh rate is working with this device. And that is an excellent thing. If you want to save battery life, you can go down to 60 Hertz, but I would recommend one 20 hertz because it is working absolutely amazing with this rom the swiping and scrolling around is buttery smooth and i have not noticed any lags whatsoever basically this rom is optimized you know for this smartphone and i do appreciate that like 120 hertz is working absolutely fine with this rom now as you can see this is stock android 12 you do not get any bloatware whatsoever that you will find with you know or something like that it's a very clean and minimal experience and you do get all the features that you would find in a stock Android smartphone or a Pixel smartphone. Basically, the software that you get with a Pixel smartphone is exactly the one that you will find in this ROM and it works really well. First up, let's check out Material U because you know that is excellent. So I'll quickly go to wallpaper and style over here and I'll change the wallpaper, home screen and we are done. Now, as soon as I change the wallpaper, the entire theme of the smartphone will change. First up, the quick settings change their colors because you know they pick colors from the wallpaper and as you go to the UI, everything like every element has changed colors because of Material U theming engine. So if you go into wallpaper and style over here, you can choose colors as well. Basically, it will show you all the colors from the wallpaper or you can also choose your custom color from basic color options over here but i would recommend to select colors from the wallpaper because that looks absolutely stunning and works really well you also get the option for dark theme over here and themed icons this feature is in beta version but if you switch it on and go to home screen you can see that some stock icons have changed their you know theme based on the wallpaper again so yeah you do get the option of themed icons and it's not working the best out there, like it does not support third party applications as of yet, but I'm hoping that Google will push out an update soon and then it will work. So for now, I'm gonna just turn off themed icons because I don't want that. But yeah, wallpaper and style and material U is working fine with this ROM. In fact, it is working great. Also, this new Android 12 clock widget looks really cool in my opinion. It's a very good widget and you can add more widgets as well. So if you go to widgets over here and if you go to clock, you do get all the new options. That is this analog one, digital one. You can you know, choose a world clock or something like that. And basically, you do get all the new widgets that came along with Android 12. Now, if you talk about the fingerprint sensor, it is working with this ROM. The size mounted fingerprint sensor on the redmi note 10 pro it's working really well and it is fast as well so if i keep this finger it will not get unlocked but if i keep this finger then it will get unlocked because you know that finger is registered 
basically fingerprint sensor is working fast and i have no complaints with the fingerprint sensor now if you talk about the camera application by default you will not get any camera application with this rom that's why you'll have to go ahead and download google camera that's exactly what i did and if you want to download google camera for this smartphone don't worry i've already made a video about that and i will drop a link to it in the description box below so definitely check it out but yeah basically for the camera you'll have to use google camera and that's your best bet now if you talk about the drm info application we'll go over here and check the you know wide wine l1 certification so yes currently it is on wide wine l1 basically you will be able to watch you know high quality content on netflix amazon prime video hotstar etc because of the wide wine l1 certification android 12 also has this new privacy dashboard wherein you can see all the applications that have been using your location camera or any other permissions basically it will give you a bird's eye view of your privacy and you can control everything from here if you want some application to not know your location you can turn that off or if you want some application to not use your camera then you can turn that off as well basically you can control your privacy from here and this is an excellent feature i really appreciate it now if you talk about major bugs i have not seen any major bugs whatsoever everything is working fine the battery life has been excellent the standby time has been excellent the performance has been top notch and yeah basically everything is working fine with this rom now before we move forward this video is brought to you by the dot company the dot company is my own brand and we make some awesome stuff a brand philosophy is very simple it's a minimal and no nonsense brand you can find some really minimal t-shirts wallets and caps on our website all of the products are very affordable as well so definitely check it out my personal favorite is this money clip wallet which i have been using on a daily basis it's a very minimal and functional wallet the best part is that it will only cost you 400 rupees and with the code technolobe you can get free shipping as well so what are you waiting for definitely check out dot company's website and don't forget to follow us on instagram as well so as you saw that was pixel experience on redmi note 10 pro now let's talk about how to install on this rom on your smartphone you will need to do a couple of things before you can install this rom on your redmi note 10 pro first up you'll need to unlock the bootloader of your smartphone and second up you will have to install twrp recovery now if you don't know how to do these things don't worry i've got you covered i have an article on my website which will give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do these things so definitely check it out you will find a link to it in the description box below now once you have an unlocked bootloader and twrp recovery installed the next step is to install one zip file and you'll be good to go so you can download this zip file install it and you will have pixel experience rom on your smartphone this rom contains g apps as well so you need to flash only one zip file and you'll be good to go again i'll make sure to drop a link to that zip file in the description box below so yeah definitely check it out now let's get to the common questions about custom roms do banking applications work on custom roms yes banking applications do work on custom roms in fact i myself have been using them and have found no issues whatsoever now banking applications won't work if you root your smartphone but even then you have a workaround you can use magisk hide for those applications and then you can use them as well so basically you can use banking applications and don't worry about them so anyway that's been it do let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section down below if you like this content go hit that like button and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel it would mean the world to me my name is harsh punjabi and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye